This is the coming epidemic worldwide for the 21st century. The problem is enormous. Food is changing, many aspects of our lifestyle is changing, environment is changing, all of the exposures are changing. I think all of us scientists are, are really altruistic in nature and are driven by making an impactful difference. That's why I came to biological sciences and public health, because it was important that I worked on something that had real life implications. There is always an answer. It's just about having the creativity to, to figure that out. I think now is a great time to prioritize activities in this area of metabolic diseases because funding through governments is not expanding with the same pace. Actually, it is it's shrinking. We would like to give something on behalf of my grandfather's name, Sabri Ülker's name. He was a pioneer in Turkey for being generous and uh, sharing his wealth with the society. He wanted to invest into research because he believes without research there won't be any progress in the world. This is going to be serving the whole uh, humanity uh, all around the world. It's very important for our family. We are responsible as well to invest into the future of the humanity. The generosity of this gift is to recognize the need for scientific freedom to explore in an unrestricted way new ideas, new approaches, and it is an extraordinarily visionary gift. A problem of this magnitude requires a prolonged, vigorous, uninterrupted effort to have a bigger advance, and this gift will allow us because we will be able to do that in an uninterrupted manner. What it will enable us to do is to invest in people, ideas, and resources. We will train tens or hundreds of people who will spread, form their own network, so our intellectual power will exponentially grow. And one of these people, for sure, uh, going to discover something that will make a big impact. Professor Otamus Ligil is the right person we believed and he's very committed to his uh, work. If you want to do something for public health, this is the place to be. He has been a leader in the field of metabolic syndrome. He has developed new approaches to control these major problems. If there isn't any outcome, there will be some things that maybe trigger another research to uh, help to solve other problems. That could translate into significant advances for quality of human life. It will have implications ranging from neurodegenerative disease to cancer to liver disease to airway disease to aging and longevity. So this is the great hope. Why we have been choosing Harvard University as a partner in that program is very simple. Where the science is, we go after that. That's our philosophy and mentality in the family. There should be a certain environment for science. There should be free environment and good labs are needed. And that facility exists within the Harvard University. This gift is a living gift and it honors a father, a family, a university, and it's a gift for the future, not just the present. I hope we are going to succeed on this. So we're very excited to, to pursue these lines, get our work going, and uh, waiting in, in great anticipation of the next decade. <laughs>